Welcome to Drawing and Painting. This course is designed to provide art lessons with specifically drawing and painting with a variety of media and surfaces to prepare you for your artistic journey in life as well as earning graduation credits in fine arts in the state of Washington. I'm Amy Robertson. I'm the art instructor for this course and I go by Amy, so feel free to call me Amy. I'm going to take you through some of the important parts of our syllabus for this course. First of all, if you want to contact me, you can email me at the email that's here. Uh, families, it's best to email me and students, it's best to reach me through Teams. I'm in room 305 at Sammamish and you can also book an online Teams appointment with me and the link is in the syllabus online in the OneNote. I'm an artist, an art instructor, and an instructional designer. I've been an art instructor in Bellevue Public School since about 2001. I've taught high school art and CTE at Big Picture School and Newport High School, and I've even spent a few years teaching elementary art uh, in some of the schools in Bellevue. I've taught every class we offer for art except hot glass. So as an artist, I specialize in ceramics, photography, and drawing and painting. And when I'm not teaching and instructing and doing my own art, I love to travel with my family. I often go with my two sons to Britain to visit my mother-in-law who lives in Northwest England. And I like to travel as much as I can. So I'm not just an artist, I actually used to work in the science field. I have a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science and I worked in the fisheries world for quite a while. I have a BFA in Visual Art and Printmaking and I have a Master's Degree in Educational Technology. So I love to learn and I'm always out for learning new things. So here's my schedule for the year. I teach art and design and drawing and painting and I also teach the advanced courses within those courses. I believe that every human needs to learn how to express themselves through art in a matter that's different than spoken and written word. So three of the main purposes for this course are to help students create artwork, help them gain confidence in artistic expression, and to grow as an artist and designer. This course is for any student who wants to strengthen their drawing and painting skills. We will work with a variety of media and gain confidence in artistic expression while being part of a supportive community of student artists. I really want to encourage you to create works of art that represent your personal vision, involve imagination, problem solving, risk taking, communication, and reflection. The overall goal of this course is to provide drawing and painting skills so you can express ideas and apply your learned art skills to create artworks with a variety of media. Advanced drawing and painting students will take on independent projects throughout the semester and or choose to complete the class projects and focus on their specific art skill building of their choice. There are four main course objectives for this course and they are presented right here. Basically, they're all about creating works with a variety of different techniques and surfaces, but also applying and analyzing and connecting ourselves with art, as well as responding and evaluating art, and in addition, being able to digitally share our work with others. Drawing and painting is a one semester course in high school. It uses OneNote and Teams as technology platforms, and I provide a lot of accommodations for students who need extended time and, and extra help. It also challenges students to create works that are important to them. We have modules and they take about one to four weeks to complete. This course is for everybody. I have lots of supports I can provide to any student who might need extra help. I have tutorials after school for a half an hour. I can also meet one-on-one -on, -one on Teams when you need extra help. So I'm here to support everybody who takes this class. So let me know if you need anything. I'm also here to encourage you as you find your path. So what will we learn? Well, every module has an art history element to it. Of course, drawing and painting, but within drawing and painting, we'll be doing some illustration, mixed media, some digital drawing, some collaborative projects, and some community projects, like maybe a mural. 
there's a variety of different projects we're going to do throughout the semester. So when it comes to materials, we're going to use a variety of materials in this drawing and painting class from pencils, charcoal, chalk, pastels, oil pastels, inks, washes. We'll use watercolor, acrylics, maybe even some tempera paint. We'll also use a lot of different surfaces. We'll use paper, cloths, muslin, 3D forms, wood, newspaper, cardboard, found objects, and more. So one of our goals this year is to teach our classes in person as much as possible. Students need to attend the course during required scheduled times as much as possible. It's really important that students are here in person to understand what's going on. If that's not possible for a student, then we need to arrange some ways of connecting online through Teams. Many projects are based on students completing art individually, but there are a few times where we might do project-based learning and students collaborate together. Some of those projects will include peer feedback and discussions and critique writing to support other people in the class. Videos and visuals are used in this course for content delivery. I will always make sure that I use closed captioning for videos. Students need to attend class with a charged laptop because we do use laptops sometimes. Also, basic OneNote and Teams knowledge is important. If you need assistance with that, I can schedule a time during tutorial or a Teams chat where we can catch you up and help you navigate online resources. All materials for this course are provided and there's no lab fee. You also have your computer for technology access. Students do not have to have any other digital device for the course. If a student does have a cell phone or camera for taking photos of work, they're welcome to use that, but I do have access to cameras in the classroom that students can use. You're also able to use your own materials at home, but it's not required. In my classroom, I use restorative practices to help with community building and discourse, conversations about what's going well, what's not going well. Hopefully everything goes great, but if we do have some issues or significant harmful behavior in the class, then I will speak to students and families or administration if necessary. Communicating with families is really important for students' academic success. I will contact families when issues or concerns arise, but if families need to contact me, email is the best method for communicating with me. But Teams is the best contact method for students, so my email is also available to you on the syllabus. I use standards-based grading for assessments, and I use the National Core Art Standards and the ISTE 21st Century Skill Standards. There are four art strands in the gradebook, and you can see those here, creating, presenting, responding, and connecting. Also included in standards-based grading are the 21st century skills. There are about 12 of them, but I'm gonna focus on four this year. Innovative designer, digital citizen, knowledge constructor, and collaborator. So these will be their own strand in the gradebook, and I will always tell students what they're being assessed on before they actually complete work. Standards-based grading uses numbers instead of letters to assess work. So it's one, two, three, or four, and there's also numbers in between like 3.5, 2.5. However, the numbers correspond to letters in the gradebook. So the traditional way of grading with letters can be seen in Synergy. Students are expected to turn in original hand-created artwork and assignments to the turn-in area in the classroom. They'll also be taking photographs of their work and storing it in their OneNote pages. I will be posting all assignments in the Teams assignment channel, and the due dates will also show up on student Teams and Outlook email. For makeup work, extensions, or redos, students need to send Amy a Teams message to request a redo, makeup, or an extension. Please look at the syllabus for specific information about how the extension works, the redo, and the makeup work. Also, please remember that all school-wide policies are in effect in the art room too, so that includes 
positive behavior, school expectations, grades, tardiness, plagiarism, and other important policies about the school. Students will be bringing home a syllabus agreement for families to sign. It just basically says that you've reviewed the syllabus or watched the online video, and if you have questions, please make sure you write them on the little sheet of paper and then sign the form. Thank you for watching my syllabus review video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.